Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is one of my favorite shots taken by Zach Swister on the drone. He's an amazing drone pilot. This is Dogleg Gravel Bar in Washington State. It's a little bit challenging because you have a 90 degree turn at slow speed for landing in a gravel bar. Now I'm going to show you how does it look from the cockpit. And you can see I have a hut over the glare shield. That's an angle of attack indicator. And you see also up front on the nose over the glare shield, there's a mini slip indicator. So with those two tools, I can do all my landings by just looking outside and concentrate on where I'm going to land. In this video, I'm going to talk about why I like so much and I think it's very useful the angle of attack indicator. I definitely think it's a safety enhancement. Also helps you to fly consistently. I want to make sure that you guys know I am not an instructor. So this is not an instructional video. This is an example. I'm going to take off with my Cessna 170B on a gravel bar. It's in Homish, Washington. And where it helps is will let me know when I have enough lift to pull on the yoke. So this way I don't pull early, hit it hard on the tailwheel and just pull and slowly and smoothly the airplane lift off. This is one of my favorite gravel bars in the Sky Comics River, Washington. This is Arrowhead. Mm -hmm. I come up with 40 degrees of flaps, a total warning going off, and the uh, angle of attack indicator. It showed me how much lift I got, so I do a slow land. Yeah. So the angle of attack indicator is something we don't need to fly, like a GPS, we don't need to f a GPS to fly. There used to be lots of flying before GPS's. In my opinion, it's a safety device and also will teach you to fly the wing of the airplane. Will make you a safer, more consistent pilot. The uh, tools we have in every airplane is the uh, airspeed indicator and the stall warning. So with those we learn how to fly for landings how to avoid an stall. Here is a video of a U2 pilot explaining that mounts in place of one of your inspection hole covers. And then there's tubing that goes to a computer that translates it into an angle of attack display. And we even have a heads up display that you can look through or even be able to fold down. And you, as your angle of attack increases, it just starts to run up. And the blue donut tells you that you're at optimum angle of attack. If the angle of attack gets higher than that, it tells you to lower the nose. Back to the blue donut or raise the nose, back to the blue donut. So you stay on the blue donut, especially if you're coming down final approach. And then as you flare to land, you will naturally go into the red chevron with higher angles of attack. As you touch down at a nice slow speed, and you will not have to use your brakes as much as you use. So does this have audio? It does have audio. This one has has five different selections of audio. This one that I selected for this unit is, has the beeps, which is similar to what the F4s and the U2 guys use. And there are four others, that uh, two of which have voice, and the other two are tone-paced. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Mr. Fitzgerald. I have seen some pilots that actually I think is funny. They think this is for new pilots or bad pilots and actually I think it's a safety device that any pilot will take advantage of. I will make you a safer pilot for sure. I have almost 3000 hours and about 2800 hours with the angle of attack indicator and it showed me how to fly the wing of the airplane. Here is an approach where I use the 
GoPro GPS to show the ground speed but this day we have no wind but you can see how slow the Cessna 170B can go and the thing here is that the stall warning is going off for a while but looking at the AOA it's showing me exactly how much lift I have so I don't fix on the angle of attack indicator I look at it as a reference on long final and they fly the airplane but it's really a great help which allows me to do very slow approaches with a bigger safety margin of course you feel the airplane when it's dropping under you and it's going to stall but this enhances the, the safety of every pilot who uses it for of airport operations a country flying it is very useful it makes you a very precise pilot you can squeeze all the performance of your airplane safely not only gives you the information for landings or takeoffs also VY VX best glide I also fly a CJ6 Nanchang military trainer and I like the Alpha systems angle of attack indicator as much as I like it for the backcountry for doing aerobatics. It also helps me doing very precise landings. The CJ6 Nanchan requires energy to do all these kinds of maneuvers. It's not overpowered like an extra. So it's a heavy airplane with 285 horsepower. So I find the angle of attack indicator very useful. Here I'm flying the Cessna 170B and you can see that over the glare shield I have three mini slip indicators. This is an instrument I'm developing. I think it's very useful to have a mini slip indicator over the glare shield. That way you need to look inside the cockpit to see if you are coordinated or not so you are looking all the time outside when you combine this with the angle of attack indicator with heads up display it's a great tool so you are doing all your landings looking outside and you have precise information I will keep you guys posted on when I'm going to start manufacturing these instruments we are in the testing right now and they will be for sale once uh, they are tested and uh, we are sure they work flawless. This is Camp Patriot in Montana. This kind of airstrip is short, no go around. So you need to be precise, something that the angle of attack indicator helps a lot with. This is Marble Airstrip in Idaho. One of my favorite ones. It's very confined, short, high density altitude. Here is another angle of attack indicator compensates for density, altitude and temperature. So it is very useful for this kind of scenario where the airplane and the pilots are challenged. Here is another challenging situation with the Salmon River. It's a river in Idaho. This is a semi-tight canyon. So I'm going to do a canyon turn at low altitude. Angle of attack indicator is going to show me lift during the whole maneuver. First I'm slowing down, you can see the yellow lights. I'm getting close to the wall of the mountain. And with 30 degrees of flaps I'm going to make a left turn. I will not pull on the yoke because if you don't pull, you will never stall the airplane. These are the kind of things that fly in the wing makes you aware all the time, it becomes second nature and the angle of attack indicator taught me to fly this way. It is a closer look at the Alpha System Falcon kit. You can see the lights that will give you the information of how much lift you got and there is also audio and also a heads up display. 
This is another airstrip in Idaho. This is Cougar. High density altitude. You see, I get some ground effect to get more speed. Angle of attack indicator is very helpful in Idaho high density altitude airports. Here is the Eagle above Dash with Hood. And also some examples of installations. This is a Cessna 180 with Hood. This is a Prof on a Cessna 421-290. So no matter what you fly, any airplane or any pilot would benefit by an angle of attack indicator. If you're a bad pilot, definitely get one will make you safer and more confident. If you are a good pilot, I also recommend you get one. You will get even better and safer and more consistent. This is Estehiken State Airport in Washington. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to support a country 182 YouTube channel, please join me on Patreon. It is very easy to join Patreon, go to my YouTube channel, the link is in the description of this video and navigate uh, below Backcountry 182 at the top right, you can click on Patreon and it will take you to the Patreon page where you can select your membership level, it will show you the peers and everything. By becoming a Patreon for Backcountry 182 you will not only be helping YouTube channel but you can also get direct advice or discount on some aviation products for your airplane or advice or products for your airplane we can chat uh, video call if needed